So this is the quite distressing, um, this is actually quite unexpected tad distressing turn of events. <sighs> I didn't find my license or my credit card. For that matter, I didn't even find my black bra, but that has to be somewhere, you know what I mean? The black bras. But I went through everything. See, I'm breaking the thing where I said I was going to create a video. I'm going to bed. My mom and I are going to bed. That's the end of the time. That should be fun, huh? Omar can't come. We have, my mom and I are taking public transportation. Omar can't come. Um. Look at this. I moved it over there. Okay, I didn't find either. I checked the couches, checked the chair. You guys may or may not know, depending. I drank Friday and Wednesday. Okay, Friday, I didn't have my license. I went to the bank and had to, I got money, but I, um, I had my credit card to get money, you know, pin credit card, so that was okay. My debit, whatever. Um, and I didn't actually go to get money. I got, went to transfer all that money that I'd put into my account when we thought we had, might have to take Walmart to the emergency or something. Um, I took 2000 out of my mom's big account, um, you know, that I need to get back to her, so I stuck it in my savings where it would be safe. Um, And then they were like, your savings isn't open anymore. Why? Because right before I went to LA, I had temporarily taken all the money out of both my checking and my savings just until I could get the money my mom was, you know, giving to me or whatnot. And I put it in the next day, but I didn't put it in the savings because they said, well, if you have just pennies in there, it'll stay open. Well, yeah, it'll stay open, except when you just have pennies, you get a fee. So. I had like 85 cents in there and then it closed, they closed the account, they took 85 cents when the fee came up. It was supposed to be five dollars, but they don't go negative, they just close your account. So I had to reopen and I'm like, I don't have my license, so. Last time I had my license is when I went places around here, um, when I was going to return stuff. I haven't seen my license since, and I, you know, I didn't drink on that day. My credit card, I had, you know, last that Friday, you guys know that I drank. Um, and used my credit card. But I used my credit card all the way, even when I got home, went to the liquor store, went to the store. You know what I mean? So, it's highly doubtful that I lost the damn credit card just walking home from the store around here. Does that make sense? Um, but if I can't find it, which I've already looked through all this crap, then um, cancel it, get another one. That's power for the course with me, you know? <laughs> Oh, the last couple of times I've had to do that was because of the fraud. I was fraud. I mean, I was fraud over that stupid. By $300 by that call to resolve. And then before that, I was fraud by one of those overseas, those companies that take like $10 out of everyone's account. And, or nine, nine, you, know, you know what I mean? And so that's why I've had to cancel the credit card now because I've lost it. But, um, sucks. License really sucks. Although, you know, last time when I got that, that license, I was in the shelter and had the shelter address, so maybe it would be nice to have a new license that has, you know, this address and not a shelter address. Not that anyone knows it's a shelter address, you know what I mean? So that's not such a big deal. A new license would cost like twenty something dollars. That's not that big of a deal. But, you know, it still kind of sucks. It all sucks. It's like 1 in the morning, I'm going to go to bed, I have to get up at 5.30, I have to, you know, we have to be at that walk for the animals. 
um, early. So, I think I'll film it. I told you guys it was in Boston. I think I'll film it. This might be cool, huh? If I film it, I'll see all the animals. I would never take Omar. I would never. I just. I'm overprotective of Omar, and I just wouldn't take him. Homer's allowed on trains and stuff. They allow dogs, you know, here in Massachusetts. And but I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't. If anything happened to him, I would like never forgive myself. So he's staying home in the bathroom. <laughs> Poor Homer. And then we'll come home probably smelling of all the dogs we petted, and he's gonna be jealous. He'll be like, "What the heck?" Whenever we walk, I show him animals, you know, if we see bunnies, right? I did this when I was with Bobby, too, you know. We see bunnies, we see this, and that. I was with Bobby, with the neighborhood was overrun by, by bunnies everywhere. And then we saw baby bunnies, they were so cute. Oh, my God. Um, so today we showed him a cat, and he first he didn't see it, then he did. And you'd think the cat would run away, and it didn't. It started coming towards us. I'm like, yeah, Omar, that cat knows he's, you're really not any bigger than he is, so I grabbed him away. I'm not trying to, we don't go near any of these animals. We stand at the edge, I just show him the animals, you know, just to do it, you know. There's a bunny, Omar, there's a kitty, there's, you know, whatever. He's going to be spending the day in the bathroom tomorrow, oh, or really today, since so Monday morning. I showered, I didn't dry my hair. I created a video after I showered. I want to go through all this stuff. My mom and I are going to make a day of it. Um, and I'll go to Downtown Crossing. Maybe go up to eat at a food court. Same when we got, um, it's a delicious thing. We got to, like, clip my I got before that black woman, my ex-friend, you know, and I took her out to eat at this food court. And it's like a scallop thing. It's really good. I don't want it to be super expensive, whatever, you know. Um, I'm definitely going to film it. I think that'll be fun. As an aside, it's never happened. I often wonder, though, because it did happen. I told you guys this. I was in the train station, and the freaking woman came up to me, and she was like, "Did I see you on Craigslist looking for a, that?" When I was advertising on Craigslist, I had a picture of me and Omar looking for a roommate, and. I was recognized by this woman, and she didn't even, and I started just telling my story, and she just walked away, she just wanted to see if it was me, and she didn't have any room to offer me or anything, you know, she was just trying to, she was wondering if she was right, if it was me, like, yeah, that's me, and I started to tell my story, and she walked away from me, but anyway, I often wonder, what would I do, what would I do if somebody recognized me from YouTube, I really don't know, to tell you the truth, people, I haven't thought it through because, again, nine times out of ten, the chances are I'd wind up being recognized by somebody I'd prefer not to have recognized me, you know, you get my draft. Um, so I often thought, what would you do? It depends. If it's somebody creepy or something, I'd probably be like, pretend it's not me. You have, you're mistaken, or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. That's not me. I'd pretend it wasn't me, I guess. Depending, I suppose, on the circumstances. But it could happen, because it happened with Craigslist. You know what I mean? It did. The woman came up to me. Did I see you on Craigslist? 
like, um, yeah, do you have a room dog for me? I really need me and all my needed plates to go. You know? She didn't have any room. She didn't want to, she didn't want to hear my story. She walked away from me. She just wanted to prove to herself that she, that I was that person she'd seen on Craigslist. Isn't that cute? It's kind of funny. But when she asked me that, I was hoping she was someone who's going to offer me a room, you know, offer me an home. And home. Anyway, that's my story. I didn't go to bed early, but I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not even tired now. And I said I wasn't going to create any videos until I found the credit card license and cleaned the room, but I didn't find the credit card license, and I went through every one of these pieces. And you see everything over there? I went through everything one by one. All the clothes, all everything. I went through everything one by one. The license and credit card are MIA. And we know I came home and passed out on the, the couch watching them. Um, and we know I wore shorts. It was like the final day I would be able to wear shorts before it was going to be cold. I wore my short shorts that day. Um... I even checked in the couch and chair. I know I came home and passed out watching Identity Thief. There's no license or credit card. But, you know, could have been pushed under behind, you know what I mean? I didn't check the couch carefully. So I'm not tired. I'm going to try to go to bed as best I can do. You know what I mean? And so, wish me luck today. We're going to the walk for the animals. Um, I don't have my license. I get it because I pledged. I get. I pledged twenty five dollars. I get a a thing. Um, they're just gonna have to take my word for it. I have old stuff that has my name and picture on it. I find it quickly today, later on. I want to wet down my hair. I'm going to put makeup on. Make myself look nice, you know. And I am going to film it. Because I think that would be fun. 